Okay, it's time for more Vampire Survivors Operation Guns Good Time of Vibes DLC. Oh yeah, get that new update, that new DLC, that fresh brownie spell. Ready to start mezzing around? Brownie, decreasing cooldown increases area, can find extra explosive props and special pickups. Well, what are we waiting for? To Neo Galaga we go. Okay, what's his gun? That's the one that does that splashy thing. There. <laughs> Not there. Not that one. Ooh. Ah. You get to bounce with Waltz of Pearls. Ooh. Shoots out a thingamajig. Well, they all shoot out thingamajigs. Why am I re it's like a ray. It's like an ooh ray. Oh, hey merchant. Hmm. Nope. Only operation guns guns this time around. <laughs> uh, that was a bad time to cough hard. Alright, everything's good. The audio is being captured. Hey, shortgun already, nice. I can get all the passes. It's this one. Uh, let's see. Ah, this one makes perfect sense to be Candle Arbador, right? Perfect sense. Oh, right, I should just go grab the other power ups. Bouncy bounce. Oh, also luck. I keep forgetting to grab that clover right away. Blast them good. Ah, Prism Lass, you're on the map already. Bye bye, Garlic. We've got a barrier. And then, it's basically right away here. The area increases with cooldown, so we've got to get empty to home. Can't allow to wear another one to pick up. Nothing else decreases it. In fact, that means, whatchamacallit. Son Old Sanctuary is going to be incredible on him. Spinach actually hasn't been used, so yeah, good one to pick up. And the Spellbinder would make no sense. I, I really do think it's just going to be Candle Arbador. Man. Not that empty tomb. Things are looking a dicey. And that's with multiple shots of it, too. So is it just the fire, or can other things do it? Just to short gunno. Blast that off. Pomerola. It's one of the ones I'm missing. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's not gonna be a Pomerola, but I should grab just to be sure. Man, not getting the empty tome. Sure feeling that effect. Hey. Nice. Lucky chicken. Alright, let's see. Ronnie's stats weren't so high. Nothing particularly egregious like it could be some, some other characters. Like Queen Sigma. Good old Queen Sigma. Yeah, that barrier lasted all of half a second. And, well, obviously, over is not helpful. And I will grab it anyway. Power up, come back. I need you. I really do need you. Oh boy. This is a dicey one. If I had got an empty tome, I'd probably been fine. Right? Right? Empty tome saves everything. Well. On the flip side, I'm going to have so many revives because of the weapon pickups, so... Still. This is uh, looking very dicey. Back the diciest it's been in a while. Yeah, I actually lost a life here. Not a good start for you, eh, Brownie? Oh, hey, another small clover. Oh, spread shot. That'll be nice. Uh-oh, got to the wasps. And they are not messing around. Yeah, Brownie's gun. We really need some more on the back end. 
Probably gonna be great for Silent Old Sanctuary since you get all that nice cooldown reduction. Sonic Bloom, base area up 50%, base damage up by 5. Yeah, yeah. It's not really the damage, it's more of the cooldown that's causing issues here. I didn't get that clover at all. I wish I could listen to the music. Hopefully that'll be fixed soon enough. Yay, chicken. And fire. I don't even know what the fire effect does. Actually, it decreases cooldown, doesn't it? Cooldown at least half a second, passes through one more enemy. Oh, that'll be excellent. Yeah, I can already feel it. Yeah, the fire thing definitely, it decreases your cooldown. It's a buff like that. Yeah, there we go. Back down to that base, if it's not base 5. Ouch, brownie. Empty Dome probably would save you, but still. I need to go get the other armor cases. Nope, oh, just charge on through to the other side. Uh, based on this, I'm going to need as much raw power up front as I can get. So that means I can't go grab Prism Blast right now. Ooh. Ah, it's the fighter thing. One more projectile, and effect lasts longer. It's not really what I need. Ouch. Another one bites the dust. Hey, just... Save me, Sprite Shot, save me. Ah, chicken, that'll help. Here, I'll grab this one first, then back on the back end. Alright, does it, if you waste your revives, it's not like Tier Jisoo where it goes away. And I do mean waste my revives. Boy, it's dangerous today. This one blow up. Well, I haven't actually done anything in this parking lot here, have I? Yeah, none of these cars are blowing up. Short gun, one more enemy. Yeah, he definitely seems kinda weak up front. Well, my continued piss poor luck with getting passes and such hasn't helped. Oh, grenade, yes. Grenade, level me. Level me. Save Brownie. Save Brownie. Hey, firearm, yeah. Hey, a car to explode. And Brad Fang just got all his strength off of the base gun, and it worked out just fine. Brownie, meanwhile, has something that can actually get used for his passive, and it's problematic. Or his character ability. Oh boy. Wow, I really ran into that one poorly. Oh, empty tome, finally. See you, laser. Alrighty. Still thinks C laser should have gone on with. Just a uh, spellbinder would have made more sense. Effect lasts longer, cooldown reduced again. Oh, that was my last revive. I gotta go get the other case. I can't get the case. I don't have the power to get that. Ouch. One, two, three, four passives. Ah, uh, well, bye-bye, Brownie. You aren't surviving this. Well, maybe. Just barely by the skin of your robot teeth? Ah, you got the power-up. Which makes you attack bigger. 
Still haven't seen the Cane Labrador. Oh, got a... Ooh, double chicken. Man, without the cooldown... Without the empty tome, the guns are feeling kinda underpowered. You could've guessed that. Hmm, beginning would be a good play as well. I wanna do Silent Old Sanctuary, I wanna use all the gun. All the gun. I'm missing long guns still. Azer. Really kinda hoping for some empty tome out of that. Ooh, grenade. Yeah, it's big help. Short gun. Still no can of Labrador. Yay. One more enemy passed through. Hey, and I'm on fire. Good. Oh, there's throwing his box. Well, I can get Can Labrador from an Armadillo. Just need to make sure it's something else I can use. And Stone Mask would make no sense, but on the other hand, he is a robot. That makes no sense still. Ah, oh, grab this. Shoot through them as fast as I can now. Base damage up. Now nah, get it out of the pool. I don't have Bracer, so I can't evolve it. What did Sprout Shot evolve with? Well, it's slightly better. Alright, double firearm. The speed up is not all that helpful, honestly, without Super Pierce or something. Stay near the Tafangs. This is a lot dicier than I was expecting. This is a gun that really probably has more effectiveness in certain builds. Also, if you didn't have wretched luck like I got. Like, man, that was really bad luck. But it's doing okay now. That kill count. Not even 5,000 by 10 minutes at this rate. Brad Fang did so much better. Why can't you be Brad Fang, Brownie? We all want to be Brad Fang. Brad Fang! Okay, just run over here and grab it. Alright, got all the cases I can get. Man, am I going to have to grab a wake? That would be horrifying. No, I should have grabbed a tractor. That would have actually been pretty nice. Oh, they're firing off consistently enough now. Does Brownie actually have a large cooldown malice? Or increase? Let's get the dragon next to these cars to get a big explosion on. Man, he has... His pierce and wave clear is very poor with these guns. Duplicator, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, and then I'll arm a Dio. To get Candle Labrador. Should be right in here. Yeah, here we go. There's one, and there's my Candle Labrador. And because of that, I should focus on taking out the dragon so I can evolve it. I mean, it has to be Candle Labrador, right? This is a weapon. It's so much area. No, whoa, what? For some last, no. You're too often showing up Lightning Ring. Okay. Heart of Fire doesn't affect them. Da, 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 da. Mad Groove does not affect it. I guess I will just grab the beginning again.
Yep, I'm gonna grab at the beginning. And all the way at the end, of course. Okay, yeah, I probably should have grabbed that from the start. Hmm. Actually, in inverse, if you can grab the beginning and this, it probably ought to get... I mean, inverse, bouncy, and silent old sanctuary, it's gonna be crazy strong. No, let's get Candle Arbiter up. Let's see, what else? What else can go? No, it doesn't actually do that much damage either, huh? And it's got decent pushback and wave clear now, but not excellent. Yeah, it's a cooldown increaser. That's a lot better. Yeah, once you... If you go with Silent Old Sanctuary with this, it's probably going to be very amazing. Especially considering it's probably going to be one of those guns with an absolutely crazy evolution. Hey, another one of these power-ups. Hey, another grenade. Right away. Burn hot brownie, burn hot. Okay, let's think about what else it could be. Oh, man, there's usually very little left. Hmm. So, let's see. It's got big pulsy things. I mean, it can't be Spellbinder, right? Spellbinder would make no sense. See laser, yeah, it has infinite pierce. That I could see with Spellbinder, because it lingers too. Not this. Yeah, you can even see the effect more. This this just this will never linger long enough to actually expire. Right, it's not one of these. What else could it be? Armor? Now well, brownie. No, no. And no. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try armor. I don't think it's armor, but it's probably a better choice. Especially with how much you've been getting beat up. I did. Play armor ball with. Firearm evolved with Candle Arbiter. Dope. Okay. Should have seen that one coming. Oh. It evolved with armor. Charge up a powerful auto aim blast when standing still. What? Okay. No move challenge go. No move challenge go. Wow. It just fires the that one when it's not. Okay. So that's definitely something that's way better for Brownie than other characters specifically. Gotta get everything bigger, get it firing faster, so much faster. Duplicator. Alright, so I have firearm evolve into fire wave. Area increases with cooldown. So Boogle Evolutions would be good as well, right? Does it fire faster because of the cooldown? It pierces infinitely, it doesn't bounce. Hmm. Interesting. You don't really have a lot of weapons that ask you to stand still directly. In fact, this is the only one. Mento Sekiro wants you to move. Yeah, it makes Brownie. Wow, they're really strong. Whoa, this is actually very dangerous. If I have to sit here and hit things with this in order to just survive. It's not good. It's not good at all. All 
Okay. Let's see if I can get wherever this power up is. Barrier. Not helpful. I need to fire at the boss, take it out. Then can anything else evolve? No. Short gun's the only thing that's maxed out. Boy, this is gonna be hard on the wave twos, huh? Dude, they're much bigger. Am I burning up? No. Don't know where that boss went. It can't be good. Hey, a rosary. Can I just get a stat increase for something? Alright, see if I can find the spot that have rosary and use it. There it is, to the upper right. Alright, let's clear out the first wave and get some XP going. Oh boy. Not good. I mean, they're all back to full health. Okay. See if I can... Can't evolve anything. That was a waste of a chest. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually going to be tricky. Big Fuzz might be a proper fight with this. Let's see. What can I do? other than evolve all their weapons in a very long time from now. I do have Pumrola. Oh, that's probably my big red gem, isn't it? I don't want to poke the Atlanteans. Not with this. This is lucky a lot of killing power. Uh-oh. Gotta stand still, because I can blast off the auto thing. In the area helps, helps, but not that much. It would be nice to uh, get some else, some levels. Gotta be a big red gem at the end of it, though. Well, at the very least, I'm going to have a lot to talk about with regards to actually playing the game. That's a nice change of pace. No more rants about other subjects. It's nothing but vampire survivors this time around. And Contra. You weren't this week in Hardcore Brownie. You weren't this week. Well, Brownie probably isn't weak. It's just the gun. And me not taking the right guns. Spread shot. I don't have what it takes to evolve spread shot, right? No wait, it's empty tone with a spread shot. Yeah, I have it. Okay, I have spread shot and firearm ready to uh, evolve the passes. You gotta focus on getting spread shot. Red gem. Wait, how much armor do you have? Six? Good. Right, good. I can evolve now. Getting close to another evolution too. Good, I can evolve both, and they're both great. Don't want to give me a long gun, eh? Yes, grenade. Ooh, double evolution. No, oh, single evolution. Ooh, yeah, without hard to fire. It does not do all that much. But now, I can actually move again. Just because I have enough raw wave clear. What should I get? I'll focus on the base weapon. There's very little else that would help it. Well, I have little in the way of choice. I think Requiem... Hmm. Well, let's be dumb. Clearly, this will fail miserably. And I will lose all that time. Huh. 
Oh, right, I have wings. I can move. Firebird Blast, go. It's built for no move challenges. Probably should have poked down. Well, not having much in the way of might wasn't helping either. No, I could mad groove. Could mad groove. I well, I mean it's only 19 minutes in, so I totally could make it all the way back over the other armadillo, which I will need to do to get something. But what? What would I get? For other passes. Nothing else really helps. At least my damage has finally gone up. Yeah, without Heart of Fire, they are really not all oh, that raw great, huh? On the other hand, Heart of Fire is now amazing, Arcana. Let's see, what could benefit? Is this actually getting bigger? It's hard to tell. I only have four levels from it. Yeah, there we go. Some fire lag. When it destroys the light source, it goes boom again. Okay, yeah, it's so much better. Oh, let's get the pointless Metaglio right. I mean, do I want to get it? I don't think I have the damage to really use it that well. Well, at the very least, I can lock down the Atlantean pretty hard. Fire does go in the direction I send it to. Yeah. Brad's Evolved Weapon is definitely one of the raw strongest. The other ones are really based on the Arcana. This one obviously gets way better with the Arcana, but still. That big Wave Pierce is incredibly strong. This effect is pretty strong as well, but still. The base is not that helpful. Oh, whoops. Oh well. Long Gun wasn't showing up anyway. Actually, this means it'll probably actually get some use. Since I can actually run again. Okay, Atlantean. It's showtime. See, laser evolved with empty tome. Which I have. Right? No, it's Sprite Gun, that's Happy Tome. Sea Laser is Tier Jisoo. Yeah, Greatest Jubilee plus Brad's Fire Wave. That's gonna be crazy strong. Nope, oh, right into the Atlantean. Yeah, that fire buff is going to be super strong for him. Wait. That red, like, minus one might for some reason. And this cooldown affect how long it takes to go out? Oh, there's my vacuum. This will be like 80 levels. Absolutely be like 80 levels. damage up. Get the damage up. Metal Claw. Get survivability up. Yeah, that was the tag no health, alright? Uh, it's so hard to tell sometimes. Oh wow, you actually got very close, Atlantean. Left. To the left, to the left. 
To the left, to the left. I have no idea what that song is. It just showed up on a Bloodborne video I watched. To the left, to the left. That's how you beat Blood Starved Beast. Go to the left. Whatever way you're dodging, if you're getting hit, is wrong. Just dodge the exact opposite way and you miss every single hit. Why am I waiting on this? Why is the silver ring not showing up? Grenade. Grenade again. No, oh, wrong way. I don't know if I'm taking them out before they get to me or if I just have enough armor. Oh wow, Brownie has four starting armor, huh? Well, one in eight armor and three off of. You know, power up armored. Actually, now that I think about it, speed would be good for the fire wave since, well, I, I'm running it. And it has infinite pierce, so. Right, I'll grab the multi stage missile. Also, fire faster. Okay, yeah, cooldown definitely affects this. I can feel that burn. Now the enemy has felt the burn as well. Oh. Wait, that can evolve. Well, I mean, yeah, it's fine to evolve that. It's not, like, negative. But I would much prefer getting the seal laser. So that one is absolutely nuts. Maybe the strongest one there is. Oh, and I can finally get this dang clover. There you are, clover. There you are. This is just 45, too. It's so fast. Yeah, sound old sanctuary. That second wave is going to be a piece of cake. Ooh, NFT. Now I can finally get the first armadillo. Tierra Jisoo. Tierra Jisoo. Taka. Taka. Get back here, Taka. That's not where you were, Taka. I talked about this with you before, Taka. You have to come in one direction and then die horribly in that one direction. See? Much better. Good. Uh, the proton beam. Pronto beam. And now nothing can stop me at all. It's like, look at this. That's some peak of vampire survivors nonsense right there. All you need is a good weapon, turns out. Yeah, something like this, both of them are probably going to be a lot better. On... Um, Da -da -da. Silent Old Sanctuary runs. Like this one especially. Uh, the Sonic Blow especially. Should be absolutely absurd there. Because even at the end, once it was getting both beginning and the bounce, it was doing some decent work. So once it has Silent Old Sanctuary feeling it, both its damage and it's area. Well, area with any character, but especially. Yay, get that vacuum going. Alrighty, now that I've ran out of things to talk about. Uh, wait, who's the next? Well, actually, no. First six should be for Neo Galaga, and the next six are all going to be Hectic Highway. Because I had to get a rope. Finally, the level of storm I was waiting for did not occur. Oh. Alright, Big Fuzz, what do you got? 
Huge alien cyborg presence be detected in the northeast of Neo City. You attack it aggressively. I will attack it aggressively in like two and a half minutes. Look, Brownie really has to make up for being not even at 50k, alright? Alright? That's just too sad. You don't want to make Brownie sad, right? Look at him, he's too adorable. Yeah, I'm not even going to be able to max out, huh? Still got so much to go. Oh well. I can actually see what the boss does. Right proper boss fight this is now. Oh man, I wonder if I should get to see if there's anything after the bombs. No! I guess not. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, you're upside down, Brownie. Yeah, why is the fire still here? Whoop. Whoop. Brownie dies too. Wait, why is Brownie red? Shouldn't it be black for oil? Survive 15 minutes with Brownie to unlock the Sonic Bloom. Evolve the Sonic Bloom to unlock Sheena. High achievements. Pronto Beam annihilated everything because good grief. Yep, yeah, that's about it. I didn't even get to see what Wave Beam did 9.3 and did so much less. Alrighty, Sheena at Ronzi. Move speed decreases cooldown. Wow, go wings. Can't find special pickup. Well, that'll be for our next time. And Brownie very barely takes us up to the 240 mark on the Beswick. We're getting it done, we're getting it done. Next up is going to be Sheena. She'll actually be going over to Hectic Highway, so the next five characters will all do that. Wait, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate a like, dislike, if you would be so kind. A comment if there's anything you want to see in the future, or a subscription if you want to support the channel. No matter what. Have a good day and keep messing around.